Hey guys, it's the Mayor, and this is Skyopolis 4. Hope everyone is well, having a utterly amazing day. Let's go ahead and uh, jump right back into this pretty cool pack. And uh, in between episodes, went ahead, I did a little bit, not a ton. We'll kind of take a quick look see. Then we're gonna probably head to the Bumble Zone. I made these two machines this is the melting chamber and the solidification chamber. Also, went ahead to made a cloche for Netherwort. Uh, the fruit and candleberries, because I've already did that today. That's actually a source of honey, which is pretty cool. That is from Pam's. But, uh, I made these. I talked about these in the last episode. We need the melting chamber to make the crystallized obsidian, so I can make my powered anvil, which I actually have over here. There you go. Which I can then now, I guess, go into here. We have something that can be repaired, right? So we'll go ahead and grab that real quick. Just uh, repair anything that needs repaired, right? So these charms and stuff, really good for repairing these. I can repair armor, too. Like, I could just go ahead and repair my armor, but uh, right now I just want to make a big charm, and I'm not going to do that. The recipe is really easy, too, for these, uh, I guess, these uh, recipes uh, for these obsidian, too, these crystallized ones. have to go ahead and uh, make the, um, I guess this one is the crystallized amber. You go ahead and throw some magma blocks into the melter, pipe over the liquid to the solidification, then you do this recipe right here. Then you have to do that a second time, uh, the second time with slime, so you melt down slime in the melting, and pipe that over, and then you do this recipe down here. Ignore that with a rose. Oh, that's a thing. And if today goes right, we're actually going to need some with the roses now to think of it. So I guess that's a thing. Uh, the first thing I want to do, though, is go ahead and grab this. It's going to be a new charm. This one is a combination of all four. So we got the uh, wither, the fire, the void, and the antidote all in one, which is really sweet. There we go. Is that on or off right now? That is on, which is what we want. I'm going to go ahead and equip that thing. And that's going to make it so we're immune to poison now, because in the Bumble Zone, the bees can actually poison us. So that is a nice little protection there, which is really cool. Uh, what we're going to do to get to the Bumble Zone is to have to go ahead and make this honey token, right? So we're going to get this going. We need some honey, though, and some honey blocks. Tells you a way to kind of go about it in the book, but I'm not going to do it that way. We're going to do it a different way. Let's go ahead and grab these candle berries, right? So let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead and grab a bit of that. Sweet. That is uh, pretty much all our honey for right now, but that's fine. Then we need some centrifuges, and uh, they are from Resourceful Bees. So Bumble Zone is not from Resourceful Bees. It kind of is supported. Uh, resourceful Bees is supported by Bumble Zone, I think is the way it works. So all the Resourceful Bees should be flying around in that dimension, and we should be able to just fly around and pick them up. So should be a way to get large amounts of resources, kind of move forward in the pack. And, uh, that is what I'm going for. These are for processing honeycomb. That is kind of their main purpose. Uh, we're also going to need some bottles, so let's actually go grab... Some bottles. Uh, probably want some more than that, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to want some of these bee jars, too. So since I'm working with glass, I'm just going to grab, like, four stacks right now. Because this is going to be what catches the bees when we're in the other zone, right? So let's do that there. And then all we really need to do is start throwing honeycombs in here, right? So we do that. Actually, we need bottles in there almost right away, too. So let's do that. There you go. This here and that there. Give them all honeycomb, right? Sweet, sweet, sweet. And if we actually go to use on the honeycomb, we're going to get honey bottles out of some of these, right? So it's a little weird with the chance, right? So you put a honeycomb in, you get a sugar, then you have 25% chance, chance of beeswax, 20% chance of honey. And uh, we need uh, five of those honey to kind of push forward here. So that is kind of what we're waiting on, right? Because uh, we need to make one of these here, a honeyed apple. And I had one already from a quest we got as a reward. So that is how I got mine. But uh, we need one more of those. So we need that right there. As well, I think, as... Yeah, we need one honey for that, so that's four bottles. Then one for the recipe, because this is the most of the recipe, I guess, for that token right there. So that's good. I've been going ahead, I guess I've gone ahead and made this too. This is the Fifty Shades of Bees. It's a book for resourceful bees. And I was doing a lot of reading about it too, just trying to figure out the mod and stuff. Seems very simple and really powerful. So I'm kind of excited to try it out. <laughs> See how it goes for us. Go ahead and do that. We just need one more now, so let's do that. Go ahead and do this. Get rid of you. Then we should be able to do that and grab ourselves a uh, honey apple, which is cool. Awesome. Also, these centrifuges have a second side, too, with this bucket. Go to the other side. This is where the liquid is stored, so if you're not sure where the honey's at because you put bottles in there, that's where it's at. So I think we have uh, everything we need for the recipe now, right? So that, that, that. I feel like I'm missing one item. Oh, yeah, I need uh, some of these. Let's actually grab... I think we need like 16. Let's do that right there. Then we're just going to turn those into the actual honeycomb blocks. And that's what we need. Cool. Now let's go head over to the mixer because that's going to be where we make our token. That's where we make them all. Also went ahead and uh, move all our mixers up from the bottom. And just stuck them, I guess, up here. Kind of messy and all willy-nilly. Just because I didn't feel like I needed that platform down there anymore. So I got rid of it. 
But anyway, we should be able to put all that stuff in there. Should get our actual uh, little token. There you go. Got ourselves the advancement, which is cool. And uh, now we're pretty much ready to go to Bumble Zone, except for we need the portal. Uh, the portal is going to be done with a actual beehive. So we should just need, I guess, three of these. Let's grab three right there. Awesome. Grab ourselves the first tier beehive right there. Cool. Get ourselves, uh, I guess, another couple quests there. Make sure I have all my quests kind of set out to go to the other dimensions. Just make sure I didn't miss anything. Now we're good. It says here to enter the bubble zone, you have to throw a interpearl into a bee's nest to come home, get to either the top or the bottom of the bubble zone, you will return to where you entered. So you don't need a portal to get out, just need one to get in. So let's go grab some interpearl, maybe like a stack. And uh, I think we're ready to go, right? Let's go ahead and drop you off. I think we need a bucket for a quest too. There's like sugar water or something we have to get. I don't know what that's about, but uh, we'll get some. And there were some crystals and some other stuff. And uh, we'll go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and throw this down. I don't know if it matters which side we base it either. Because isn't this the back of it? Is this the back or the front? I always forget how these things work. I think I think this might be the back because of the line. Even though the line makes me think it's the front. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> we'll try either way. So if I throw an interpro at this, right? Nope, that didn't do it. What if I do this side? It's that side. Yeah, there we go. So here we go. We're actually in the bubble zone. There's a lot of horrible bu buzzing in this zone. So... You're gonna have to deal with that, but uh, this is it. <laughs> so that is cool. Gonna go ahead and uh, turn on our charm, I guess. Make sure we eat too, because uh, the bees here are gonna be aggressive sometimes. That was one of the main reasons I wanted this charm for the uh, poison protection. We have all kinds of blocks here. These are honeycomb brood blocks here. They're a little kind of twitchy. When they hit 100%, if there's not a certain amount of bees in a certain range, it'll actually let out a vanilla bee, which is kind of cool. But uh, we're going to go ahead and break some of these honey blocks. So that's cool. Got a quest done. Uh, we'll be able to get tons of honey blocks here, which we'll need to process anyway later on to get lots of this beeswax. So that's actually pretty good for us. So that is cool. And uh, as we fly around here now, we should see the occasional kind of hive or bee like this. This looks like a, maybe a thermal bee? Which bee is that? That looks like a bliss bee. So we just got a bliss bee. Go ahead and grab a empty jar. And uh, basically all you have to do Let's get to them and uh, right click on them. So if he'd stop running away like a jerk, uh, right there, that's cool. Uh, what is he, is that a snowy bee? Oh, he's mad at me. Let's go ahead and grab uh, this here. Did I actually get him? I have no idea. We did get him. Blizzby, snow bee. So yeah, this is gonna be basically what we do in this dimension. Also, when you break blocks here, I'll do that again, just show you. Let's do that. You get uh, this debuff, Wrath of the High Three. And that makes it so bees do more damage in this dimension, as well as makes all of them angry at you for that time being uh, in the area. And even if they kind of, I guess, if, if, it, if it wears off right now, if that guy's already made it mad at me, I think he stays mad at me. I think it's the way it works. Also, it's good to break these hives to make sure there's no bees stuck inside them. Oh, probably do that a little bit. Also, I may go ahead and turn this to uh, Bane Mine right there. So I can just walk up the walls because I'm going to need a ton of these honeycomb blocks too, like these normal ones. If I just leave this on vein mine, it makes the big sparkly effect. I don't have to hold the button. I can fly easier. So anyway, that is cool. And uh, yeah, let's fly around and see uh, what bees we can find because we should be able to find a lot of them. So hopefully we get some good ones. The main one I'm going for today is the wither bee, right? So the wither bee is going to equal nether stars. So that is uh, kind of the plan. Expecting to have to breed them. But uh, either way, as long as we find a bone bee and a coal bee, we'll be uh, good to go. So I've been flying around a little bit, just grabbing bees. I got us quite a few already, actually. And uh, that one is a ender bee, I believe. Let's go ahead and grab him. Awesome. Do we got any others around here? Not right this second. No, we may have some stuck in this hive. Actually, what's that right there? What are you? What are you? What are you? A tin bee. I already have tin bee. I'm not going to grab another one. See if there's any in that one. And uh, yeah, I got a good amount here, right? So a little bit. Been grabbing tons of honey, too. Just sending it home into our pouch. Sweet. So we got a Vassals, we got Vassals again, a Coal, which is one I actually need, a Moist, have no clue, a Fluorite, Osmium, which is good, Snow, Blizz, Uranium, that's a cool one as well, Silver, Nickel, Pigment, probably Gold, I guess, or maybe Rotten Flesh, Blizz, Ender, Rennet, <laughs> Tin, Iron, and uh, Ender again. So that's what we got so far. Oh, and a Clay. So that is cool. One thing I noticed though, all the paths in this place, right? So there's like a giant river running north to self. So it just kind of started up here. I've been going down here. I guess I've been going up and down, not even paying attention. 
but there's like one main river and there's no east or west at least so far is that actually a building up there that looks awful square we should actually go check that real quick make sure that's no kind of structure because that looks awful flat for this dimension i haven't seen anything that flat yet let's just uh dig into it here we go do that as well that looks good it looks like nothing but it's a uh, an immense amount of honey which uh, we'll need either way but yeah it seems like there's just like rivers running north and south and most of the resourceful bees uh beehives seem to be pretty low like down on the lower part so i've been trying to stay low as i look around and uh, that's how i've been spotting most of them like this guy right here that's another moist i don't think i want him so we already have one and what is this guy another ice i'll grab another ice it doesn't hurt to have two of them so yeah i'm gonna be flying around here for quite a while doing this i want to fill up all of these jars and just see what we get i'm really hoping we already got the cool i guess we still need the spooky I'd like to get a netherite if we can find it. We get a netherite bee. That'd be awesome. That might be a diamond bee. Yep, that's a diamond right there. Look at that. And okay, our charm's almost broken. So let's actually go ahead and try to head home here. We should be able to go ahead and dig through uh, the bottom world. But there's a liquid down there, so I don't want to deal with that. So I think we can also fly through the ceiling. So if we actually go up to the ceiling, I think we hit a wooden wall. And at that point, I think we can go into, uh, I guess, back to where we spawned in from. I think it's how it works. Or back from to your, it might be from your, uh, where you sleep, right? Your bed, right? So I guess to your spawn point. So we'll just dig up a little bit. See if we can actually make it here. There we go. We're actually starving to death. Those bees actually hit pretty hard too. They're actually taking like three hearts uh, off me with, uh, I guess this, uh, armor here. I'm not wearing the helmet, but even still, that seems like a lot for a bee. Anyway, there's the wood. Let's go ahead and break through. There we go. We're back in our dimension, which is awesome. And now I should be able to just come back here, maybe have a sleep. And then, yeah, head back there, see if we can fill up the rest of these jars and uh, see what we get here. I've come to the realization that it's actually better to leave the bees angry at you, too. So, yeah, when the sky turns red there and they just start flying at you, it's way easier to find the bees. <laughs> they just fly right at you, they try to attack you, and you just catch them in, right? I mean, it'd be a little rough. Imagine doing this place without flight. This place would be miserable, now that I think of it. But, yeah, I'm just going to keep them angry at me, and then I can hunt them down. I didn't need him. There you go. But uh, I did find a netherite bee. I just got him a couple seconds ago. So I have him. I don't really need him either. I'm going to get rid of him. Got an andesite, which is nice, I guess, uh, for great. If we're going to be doing much more of that. Don't know how much more we need to do. Or we got a nickel, too. Sweet. Got a bunch as uh, reward eggs, too, from some of the quests. But uh, now I'm just working around slaughtering bees that I don't need. So that uh, that is what our life's come to. I don't need him. There you go. And uh, it's much easier to find them this way. Like, way easier, I think. And so I'm going to continue just breaking blocks and making bees angry and grabbing the ones that I actually want. So I think that's going to be how I do that move forward. And uh, I need all these blocks anyway, so I, I might as well have them angry instead of just do it all at once. Just kind of spread it out, right? Do it over time. And okay, I just found a little weird area here with a bunch of spawners. I actually think they're through this wall here, so I'll probably go through there. Here we go. Yeah, there's one right there. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. That's cool. And then there's a bunch of uh, web in here as well as spawners. <laughs> Look at them all. They're all over the place. But also there, yeah, there's this one here. Go ahead and get rid of you. Get rid of you. Oh, it looks like there's one more here. And then there's some of those crystals that I did for a quest as well. So might as well grab that. But these seem pretty rare. So we need to do grab these crystals for something. So I'm going to go ahead and grab them. But they seem like they're mostly just probably in these caves because... This is the only time I've seen them so far, so that's pretty cool. It is going to give me another egg. All these quests just seem to give you eggs, too. I noticed these five down here. Starts off giving you one, then you get two, then you get three. And I think the last one actually gives you five eggs. So going to get lots of eggs on top of everything else. So even if I miss some of the, um, I guess, the um, actual uh, bees while I'm here, um, I may have a chance of getting them through that, too. So that is actually pretty cool. Why am I doing my wireless? I need to drop this off. So I'm back from the bubble zone, and I just went ahead and made a machine here. I wanted to go ahead and make sure we could actually get a lot of those honeycombs. Like, we have this form right here with the block, right? But we're going to end up needing a good amount of these ones, too. And the easy way to get those is with this here. Multi-servo press with a unpacking die. So pretty easy to make machine, right? So I just did that. Just have it in here on push-pull. Then it just goes in here, and gets unpacked, and it gets turned back into that. Because otherwise, we don't have an easy way to make that stuff. So I just thought that was a good, easy way to do that. Could have done it with berries, but I'll have to wait a long time. So I got that done. Also, we have a ton of bees, right? So we actually go and look. You'll see we got a whole lot of them, plus our eggs that we got as rewards, right? So we got like a blaze, we got uh, basals, we got clay. 
I think we had a steal that we got early on. We'll definitely be using that one at some point because I didn't find him. A kitten, a lapis, then all kinds of others like wool. We got skeleton, which is one we needed. We got our coal. We got redstone. We got our netherite bee, which is one I was looking for. Gold bee. It's just all kinds. There's a whole bunch here. Even a cow bee. Look at that, a cow bee. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, get these set up. But there's one bee I want to focus on first, right? So with this mod, if you get up to these here, these apiaries, you can actually produce resources really fast, right? So you want to get up to the tier four apiary. Problem is it takes a lot of nether stars to get here, right? So this takes four for this level, but you need the tier three and the tier three takes four each. So that's what, already 20, right? Then you got to go to this tier and then each one of these is going to take one. Then you got to go to tier one and each one of these is going to take one. You can see what I'm saying. It's just a lot of stuff. Then you also have to go through these tiers, right? So you have the beehives as well. So the beehive, the beehive, 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 and the beehive. So we have a lot of stuff to wrap up, basically what I'm saying. And it all comes down to nether stars in the end. So what I'm trying to do is get us nether stars. And that's going to be with this guy, right? So if you kind of pull up these bees and right click on them, go over here. Uh, this one here, beehive, go to use on that. This guy in the centrifuge with the wither comb has a 1% chance of giving us a nether star. So the more of this we can produce, the faster we get nether stars, right? So my main goal is to get us a beehive, basically, right? Or a tier one apiary. The tier one apiary, right? It's going to make it so every time one of these guys produces... He gives us eight of these, and I can put nine other bees in there. I guess eight other bees. I could just put this one in a beehive too, but I don't. I think that's a lot slower. Plus, this thing reduces the time it takes for them to actually produce by thirty-five uh, percent, which is actually really awesome. So I'm probably gonna end up sticking the first one in an apiary, and uh, that's cool. The only problem with that is, well, we gotta breed them first off with the coal and the skeleton. We'll get to that. But on top of that, because <laughs> there's always one more thing here. Which one is it? The bee flowers. We need a wither rose, so we need to go get a wither rose first, uh, first, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So I got some soul sand, I got some wither skeleton heads, we're going to head to the end and uh, see if we can uh, trick a wither into uh, killing some uh, some of those guys that need to be killed, which would be endermen, right? Or any other mobs there. Hopefully, once I kill them, they drop some roses, we come back, and we try to do our breeding. So that is, uh, that is what I'm doing. Basically, I just want to let you know what I was doing because otherwise it's going to be a whole lot of stuff. I was just looking around for a nice little clearing where there wasn't any force so I could actually go ahead and uh, get a wither in and uh, I found this. So we actually get our head here which means we'd also be able to I guess go down here and get our elytra and that should finish off two quests which uh, we actually had to do so that's cool. What is this stuff? Let's go ahead and grab that. Why do those boots look weird? Anyway let's grab them. There we go and uh, grab that as well. What do we have on that? Protection for Mending, Blast Production, that's actually a really good diamond chest play right there, isn't it? That's not bad at all. If this was vanilla, I'd be all happy and stuff. But anyway, let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do this. There you go. And uh, there we go. We've got our light draw. And uh, we're just going to go and uh, see if we can actually get to an area. I do have a place on the map where it looked a little clear here. So I was thinking this little area right here, we should be able to set up the wither, drop him down, let him go ham on any intermittent disease, and as long as he gets us a couple of roses, we're good. There's also these weird little squid guys that actually spawn around these little, these, uh, the chorus flowers. So we might be able to get those and they probably have a lot less hit points. We'll probably die a lot easier. So that would be nice for us. Yeah, there's one right there. Look at him. He's trying to look like a tree, man. He's a forest squid. So anyway, let's go ahead and actually get uh, a wither going, right? So this here, this here, this here. Hopefully he's not a jerk and pays too much attention to us. But if so, we just run away and come back. I'm not too concerned, and uh, he should just go ham and start killing things around here. And then I should be able to, I guess, uh, if I have to, mark a map uh, waypoint roughly where he is, and then we can come back and uh, if we need more, we can grab him. But I think we can make more with the phytogenic isolator if we need to. I just need this guy to get me at least one or two, <laughs> and we're pretty much good to go. I think you need one for every bee, but I'm only really planning to have one of these bees in the end, so I guess it doesn't even matter. I just, uh, I just, I just need my rose, man. Come on, hit these squids. Hit them. <laughs> there you go. That works there. Awesome. Awesome. Got myself a few of them. I think we got like four. That should be more than enough. Actually, we've got a couple more right there. Which is awesome. The squids work way better. Nothing is worse than listening to Enderman death sounds. But anyway, I think we're pretty much done. Probably just grab a couple more. Probably mark the map where he is and just leave him here. And if I need any more, I can come back, right? So I'll just go add waypoint and maybe... Rose, awesome, and uh, yeah, we'll just head back to the base, go ahead and uh, see if we can actually get this multi-block setup that we need, 
and uh, get some crafting gun uh, done and uh, see if we can actually work towards an actual apiary because uh, that would be awesome. So we have just about everything we need for our next kind of multi-block here. I guess uh, for the multi-block, I should say. But I am processing more of these honeycombs because uh, I knew I was going to need them. So uh, we need beeswax, right? So that's what I'm going for right now. I think I need a total of like 160. And I'm getting close, right? So I got like 60. Yeah, we're, we're, we're close. We're close, which is good. We're going to go ahead and do like some temporary builds too. This is really simple too. It's just hoppers into the centrifuge, out and, and power on the back. Pulling all the honey into a ultimate tank, which I think is 112 buckets, so that's cool. So I did that real quick. Over here, I just have some dirt. This is going to be where we build the actual multi-block. So if you open up the book here, let's do that. And uh, hunt down the actual apiary. Go to building an apiary. It says right there that it's a 7x6x7. Seven by by seven. The internal is a 5x4x5, five by by five, which is cool. But if we go over here, we can actually visualize this puppy. And then kind of pop it down. Kind of like right here. There you go. Then we just make sure we build the right shape, which is what I'm going for. So let's go do that. Then we'll probably use these kind of on the outside. There's all kinds of different blocks you can use for this too. So it can actually get really confusing. But uh, yeah, like it'll even like show gates and stuff. Like it's uh, all kinds of blocks, but I'm just going to use really safe blocks at this point. Just so we can get it built. And then when I move it and find the actual home for this, uh, are we going to crash? No. Okay, cool. thought maybe it uh, picked a block that it didn't like or something. <laughs> I've had mods that uh, built like this before do that. So I should say put the preview up um, like this crash before when it picks a block that it doesn't want to render. But anyway, but uh, once we find a place for this and some blocks I want to build out of, I'll be able to use this. It kind of gives you that nice number there to tell you that it's valid, right? As you're building it, which is really nice. And you know all your blocks are actually going to work. So it's just a nice way to do it. Wood down this way, just like that. Go ahead and bring down some more. Then a few more glass, and we're finished. We will have to put a door on it, but uh, that is the least of our worries. That's good there. Probably glass, glass, and then a oak door. Cool. Pop that right here. And I just want to make sure it's actually built right now, right? So what we'll do is go ahead and grab the book again. Do that. Go into visualize one more time. And is it still pinned? No, it's not. Let's go ahead and uh, fix that. Cool. And yeah, you can see there, three wrong. So it's seeing the storage block. It's seeing the apiary and the, I think that's like the breeding block. So everything's right in it, and uh, we know this thing works. So that's actually pretty fantastic. Let's see how close we are. Do we have our 160 that we actually need? Does not look like it. <laughs> do we only have 120? 135. So I'm going to have to come back and uh, I guess do the end of this in a couple minutes. So I'm just waiting on the last four's beeswax. So let's go ahead and drop that off, drop that off. I had to go ahead and make sure we had enough flowers too because we need them. We're also going to need one of these apiary storages, so let's actually make that. We're also going to need a breeder, so let's go ahead and grab one of them, which apparently means we need a second storage, so let's go make that. There we go, we have that. And uh, let's see if we actually have our last four beeswax here, because if so, breeding is going to get real easy. And we're kind of skipping past, I guess, progression, and doing this the easy way anyway, right? That's kind of what I was going for. Looks like it's being really cheap, though. Oh, <laughs> anyway. So we can build this multi-block, I think, pretty much any way we want. Like, I think we can put the blocks pretty much anywhere. I think it's pretty modular. So if I go ahead, I guess, and uh, did this right here. Went ahead and put this here. Then check the numbers. We should be one higher than we were previously, right? So I just want to make sure it works. Because it shows it in a corner, right? But I don't think we have to do it that way. So if we do uh, that, right? Sweet. Is it there? No, it still says it's one is wrong. So that might have to go there, but I don't think it has to. I think we can put that uh, in different spots. So I guess we'll find out. Unless that one has to be on the edge. That might be the issue, I guess. Let's let's test that real quick. Let's go ahead and grab you. Go ahead and grab a piece of glass. Go ahead and grab that. I've never actually done this before, right? So I'm actually learning it as I go. Let's do that. Now, if I put it instead of there, probably like right here. Will it let me do that? <laughs> also, I have this on way too fast. Let's put it on normal. There you go pop it here it still doesn't say the number is higher so maybe it does have to go there i guess we'll find out anyway let's go ahead and see if we actually got our last beeswax we did actually went ahead and made the tier two beehive i think already you know the tier twos then i ran short then finally we can grab an actual apiary so we should be able to finally do the multi-box so that's kind of the idea here let's go ahead and uh, get the apiary in here i think we have to place it so the line is pushing in i was looking at the I guess the multi-block thing as I was building it, and it always showed it in. So I'm going to go the way they show it. Hopefully it's not the back because uh, that would suck if uh, 
I had bees just go inside it and then fly outside the and into the world, I guess. But we're going to do it like that there because that's the way it showed in the, um, I guess, preview, right? Then I guess we go ahead and grab the uh, breeder. Where's the breeder? The breeder is right here, right? Let's just put that right here, I guess. Right there. Sweet. And if this worked, it didn't work. Nothing worked. Okay. Maybe it has to be built different. Uh, maybe I was totally wrong. Let's try this. Let's do this here. Let's do that there, right? Let's go ahead and break this one, I suppose. Sweet. Then let's go grab apiary storage. Let's put that in a corner, right? Because that seems to be what it wants, right? So let's do that. Then let's see... If I could just put this underneath that, maybe, the actual breeder. Let's see here. If I do that, that, will that work? Validate. Validate unsuccessful. And okay, I think I finally have this thing multi block, right? So it's actually doing what it should, right? I don't have a door on it. I'll have to put that on one of the sides here. But it's, it's working. So in this configuration, it's working. It doesn't matter if I put that on the edge where it was showing it in the book. Uh, it was not working, so I have no idea. Anyway, we'll put a door in, I suppose. Let's do something here. See if it actually still works, because uh, that is kind of important. <laughs> right? Anyway, yeah, we're still working. We're good. So, first thing we want to do is go ahead and get our wither bee, right? So that's what I've been working for, right? I didn't want my actual wither bee. So we're going to grab a cool one, and we're going to grab, uh, what is the other one? Skeleton. We only have one of those ones, so let's grab that, that, that. Then we need, uh, I believe it's poppy, right? So let's go ahead and grab what we have there. And then we need some dandelion, so let's go ahead and grab that. Now we're going to have 50% chance of getting this bee. If it fails, we're probably going to get a diamond bee, I think is what it was, right? So what we need to do is put them in their appropriate jars, right? So one there, uh, one there. There you go. I think the poppy was with the cool. We'll double check that in a second. And any other flower, we'll just use this actually. There you go. Because I have to convert these anyway. Actually, we'll do that because we'll get more poppies. Um, and it should start working, I think, if we take a jar and put it here. We should start seeing the line coming across, but it gets to like this point and then it, it stops for a while, I think. Like you have to actually wait like 30 seconds or so before it'll actually start the breeding process. So I think that's kind of how it works there, right? I don't think the bees actually leave uh, the actual apiary either when this is going on. So they're not even doing anything in here yet. They're literally just part of the multi block and breeding. Now you can breed them in the world. I could have given a cool bee flying around, uh, you know, the poppies that I needed, whichever it was, I think it was four for the cycle, then eight of these, right? I could have done that, but they also have a chance of despawning. So if they're in here, they literally can't despawn. I think they only despawn if they're not attached to a beehive, but you still have that time between when you put them down and they decide if you have the right flower down to attach themselves to a beehive that they can despawn. This way they can't. He's safe. He's safe. I don't have to worry about him. And with this one, I'll be able to import the bee. If you actually import a bee, it can't despawn either. It's actually part of the hive, right? It's just listed in the number. So it's all about protecting our bees. Hopefully they'll go across, and if we're lucky, we'll actually get the wither bee. Come on, give me the wither bee. If not, I may put the diamond bee anyway. Uh, what did we get? It goes into the storage, right? Yeah, we got a diamond bee, unfortunately. Have to let it run another cycle. But if we look at the diamond bee, what does the diamond bee need to actually kind of produce, right? Let's go here, do that, go to the flower. Uh, looks like any flower. So we could go ahead and just throw a couple poppies in there. Maybe some of these blue orchids because I don't even need them, right? So we do something like this. I just want to see how fast it's going to produce too, right? So we'll just put a few down. It doesn't really matter. I think you pretty much want one for each, uh, each, uh, actual bee that you have. But, uh, we are only going to have one in there right now. Then we'll go over to this puppy. Pop it, uh, wait, did I believe the bee in there? Oh, he's right there. Okay. Pop it in there. Then you hit import. Then you want it unlocked. If it's locked, he'll be locked inside and not able to produce. Right now, he should be able to produce and uh, should be good to go. Actually, it tells you the time right there, which is awesome. You can see exactly ticks in hive. And uh, when that gets down to zero, I believe he'll actually produce his one cycle of combs, right? So when this hits zero, we should see eight combs in here for the diamond, uh, which is pretty cool. Let's see uh, how it goes here. Do your thing. You going to do your thing? Do your thing. There you go. And then we go up here. Uh, it's not in there. Oh, maybe he... Maybe I have this completely wrong. Maybe he has to come outside and didn't do the flower thing first. Because <laughs> uh, you definitely did not get me honey. Wait a sec. Do I have this wrong? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Did you go back inside? Maybe it's not 100%. So he's in there. Okay, so there's like a ticks left and ticks in hive. 
So I'm not sure how that actually works. <laughs> we'll pretend. Also, I have this glass here. I keep forgetting to put it down. This is the uh, ethereal. This makes it so I can open up the door and stuff. Actually, I was supposed to put that down afterwards. I'll put down another piece. But the, I can go through it. They can't, basically. So that's kind of what's going to happen there. There we go. We've got our diamond honeycombs. And uh, with those, I'll be able to process them down. And it's a 50% chance to get diamonds out of each one of those. And it really doesn't take that much time. And uh, I think as we get this apiary upgraded to the higher level, um, we'll get easier and easier and easier. And there you go. We actually have our wither bee. We got it, which is cool. I got two diamonds before that, which is unfortunate, but that's fine. I should be able to lock him in there. He won't be able to get out. Then I should be able to put him in there and import him. So I'll do that. They're going to unlock him, right? Do that. Then I need to get him a flower. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and actually get him a wither flower. Sweet. That should be fine. And uh, where is he at right now? He's in the hive for a few ticks. Let's just let him hang out in there. And uh, we should have some more roses, right? Hopefully. Let's go ahead and grab them. There you go. Get a couple of them down just so he has a few options to eat, I suppose. <laughs> do that. That right there. Probably not touch them ourselves, but uh, that's fine. And once he's done, he should uh, start to process, right? So he stays in there. It's like the first time. It's like a, it's a gimme. He goes in there. Then he waits for a timer. Then he comes out, then he sniffs flowers for a bit, and then he goes inside and it starts the timer. But after that first one, you don't have to wait for that initial timer anymore. It's like some kind of initial call to, cool down, I guess. <laughs> but uh, he'll do his thing, and uh, he should be in there now. And uh, we should see the timer now, right? So if I go to uh, right there, there you go. Ticks and Hive, uh, 150. This is going to get faster and faster, too, as we get to the other apiaries. But I need some of these combs to be able to get to that, right? And that little short amount of time, too, that was only a couple of minutes, uh, we effectively, that's close to, what, 96? Um, that's, what, 43 diamonds right there. So that's not too bad. A little RNG, right? So it might be a little higher, a little less, but, yeah, definitely not bad at all. And now I can take this stuff, right? And then I should have, with this, that's 1% uh, chance eight times to get an uh, actual nether star. <laughs> might not get one this time. Well, sooner or later, it's going to come. And then, then uh, I guess, average over time should see them at about 1%. And uh, that is what I'm going for. Because once I get one of those, I can go ahead and go to this apiary, right? Go to use on this one. I have to make three of the tier one ones, right? Get that done. But I'll finally get a tier two. And with this one, each uh, output will be 16 instead of eight. And then, again, I have to do way more, right? So it's going to go over time. But uh, when that's done, finally get uh, blocks instead, right? So it says honeycomb blocks instead. Output four. Then I think the last one's eight, right? So... It's going to ramp up over time, basically what I'm saying, and uh, get really powerful. The main thing is to get ourselves enough, uh, I guess, uh, of these to actually be able to get some nether stars, right? So that's cool. And I'll uh, have to find a more permanent area for this, but in time, uh, we'll see nether stars. So that is really cool. And uh, it's just automated, just like that, and really cool. I think I'm going to enjoy bees. We are going to have to expand on them, right? So I don't know where I'm going to put them, but... Uh, I think that's going to be all for today. It really threw me off of this, too. I don't understand how this multi-block kind of works. I guess when I rebuild it, I'll look at it a little closer. But it definitely didn't want the storage block here. It didn't want it here. It doesn't seem to want it on the edge, actually. But uh, I guess we'll see how it works out in time. But anyway, I'm going to end this one here. So as always, guys, like this video, please hit that like button. Really liked it. Hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. I want you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.